Welcome to this video. In this video, I want to have a look at the RxJS switch map operator. I already had a look at merge map. Now we're going to see what switch map can do for us. It basically is an operator which allows us to trigger some value emissions whenever another observable emits a value. Not 100% clear? Let's have a look. We'll start with this example and as always, you can find a link to that source code in the video description. So what we have here is a button which says click me and an observable which reacts to click events though we don't subscribe to it. So right now, obviously if I click the button, nothing happens. Now what I want to do is I want to start an interval, so an observable which emits a new value every x seconds, let's say every second whenever I click the button, but I want that emitting observable, that interval, to start over when I click the button again. So the old emission, the old interval should be cancelled automatically. Now why is that useful? It might not be that useful if we talk about intervals, but it certainly is useful if we think about HTTP requests. If you have, let's say, some auto-completion functionality and you reach out to your server whenever the user types something, you don't want these old requests to continue whenever the user changes his opinion. You're sending a new request and you want to cancel the old ones. You want to cancel the old observables so that you don't have to handle the data which will eventually come back. RxJS will handle that for you and switch map specifically is what helps us with that. So let's quickly create a new observable, observable2, which will do this interval emission, which, I'm, which I said. So every one second, this will emit an ascending number. And now the easiest way of connecting the two observables is of course to subscribe to the first observable, which is emitted on each click. And in the first function where we receive the value, in this case, we know it's going to be the click event. We could simply reach out to the second observable and subscribe to it too. And in the subscribe function of this second observable, we could now use that value we're getting, that ascending number, and simply log it to the console. If we now open up the developer tools, hit control enter, clear them, and click here, we see that the emission of values starts but if I click again, you see a second emission started. And if I click multiple times, our console here goes nuts because we have a lot of observables running emitting values because the old ones aren't canceled. Now, as explained, switch map can help us with that. So let me quickly hit Control Enter to stop this nonsense and clear the console. And I'm going to get rid of this subscription here. Instead, I'll use the switch map operator which allows me to connect two observables in the way I want them to connect here. So to switch map, I basically have to return a function where I still pass the value of the outer observable, so of observable one here, that's going to be the event still. But inside of that body of that function now, I'll mark it with curly braces, inside of that function body, I now have to return the second observable, which I want to connect with the first one. So here I can return observable two, and that basically is all. What switch map will now do is it will react to values being emitted on that outer observable, observable one here, and it will then trigger the inner observable and basically switch the values, you could say. We won't receive the click events, we will receive the values of the inner observable, hence the name, it switches the values. The key thing is that it cancels all old subscriptions automatically if we click this button again, so if the outer observable is triggered again. So if I now hit Control enter here and well before that subscribe to that switched observable, so after a switch map here. If I now subscribe here and react to that value by printing it to the console again, and now I hit control enter, you will see that if we click, we still got that interval. But if I click again, it starts over and the old one is canceled, which is why I can click this as often as I want. That doesn't change it. 
we don't get this crowded console. Instead, we only have one interval running at a time. And there's a switch map. We switch two values or two observables kind of, and we cancel any old ones. I hope this was helpful. See you in other videos, hopefully. Bye.